What up, YouTube? Today we're gonna be uh, welding some gussets on these uh, shift forks for this uh, K series transmission. Um, we're just gonna cut out some pieces of this. Um, this is about three eighths of an inch thick. We're gonna put gussets on all three shift forks. So on the first fork, we have clearance to put uh, two gussets up top and two on the bottom. Second fork, uh, there's only going to be room for gussets on the top. And then third fork, we have the uh, casings going to slide in here, so we need to put them on the bottom. So yeah, we'll just basically cut out some uh, triangles, and once I have the triangles cut out, I'll give you guys uh, exact measurements for uh, clearance. guys so I got a few of these little triangles cut out just so you can see this is essentially what it's gonna kind of look like obviously not up here though this one's gonna be on the bottom down in there we're gonna do two like that this one we can do four we can do one there one there and then we can do the bottom ones the same thing and then i got this one knocked out of there it'll be the same thing this one will, this one will be able to take four as well oh and then just so you guys can see this transmission was bending the uh the shift fork and it uh destroyed second gear you guys can see right there completely shredded and then it's all broken it's carnage all right guys so we got all our gussets cut out for the fork for the bottom fork the gusset that goes down here comes in at and at three inches and an eighth on the long side and one inch and one thirty second on the short side that's so we can clear this we'll, we'll be clearing in here the top one which will go right up here is right at three inches in length. That one can be actually just a little bit longer. It, it, we can go all the way up to three and an eighth. This one's exactly three though. And then the short side we're at a inch and a three sixteenths. Now for our third to fourth, we're gonna be putting two on top. And these are actually both identical. These come in at two inches and uh, five, no, 
2 inches and 5 sixteenths. Both of those are the same. And on the first to second, we're also going to have uh, just these small gussets on the back side. And these are easy. This is just a piece of uh, metal I bought at Home Depot. It's inch and a quarter wide, and then I just, uh, with this angle, measured a 45 and cut them, and that's what those are. And the, those are the same length that will go on our 5th uh, to 6th. And they're going to be uh, gussets just here on the bottom. So we're going to take these off now. and uh, Actually, I think I'm going to tack everything on the trans still. And then we'll take them off and fully weld them out. Okay guys, so I got all these uh, gussets tacked on now. We did run into two issues. This gusset down here is hitting, but that's only from the tack I put here at the top. So I just gotta grind that down a little bit and then weld these in. The other problem, which possibly may not even be a problem, is that these two hit these two gussets I think this all works together and when you're uh, when it's running and when you're shifting and everything this all these will actually never touch this will never go up while this is down I'm not exactly sure but we're still gonna shave both of these down that way we just don't have to worry about it at all We'll just uh, grind them down a little bit right here and right there. That way they don't touch at all, just in case. I mean, I'm not exactly sure um, if they do touch or not. Also, for the bottom one on this first shift fork, it is a little bit too long, that measurement I told you guys. I brought it out a little bit just because if I welded it all the way in there, we would be way too close to these gears, almost touching. Right now we got about half an inch from from here to the gear, so that should be fine. So I'm going to just take all these forks off and uh, weld out the gussets and uh, change up that uh, and fix these once they're all welded. Alright guys, so I got all these welded out now and uh, I was going to grind these two down that way we don't have this problem but the owner of this uh, transmission and shift forks actually needs it today so he can uh, put it in the car so I'm gonna take it apart get those to him wanted to show you guys a bent one this shift fork right here It's a little hard to tell that it's bent, but if you look at these ends right here, you can see where it was digging in. So we're having flex, or it's flexing somewhere. <clears throat> so hopefully these gussets uh, help out. I'll, I'll make a video of this car. Uh, it's going in an EP. It's going to be, I'll make a video of it racing and stuff. And we'll talk to the owner, see um see how the shifts feel how it feels shifting the car and everything with these uh gussets on that'll probably be uh next week he's gonna get this car running this weekend probably and uh as far as the s10 goes guys are uh starting to put the rear end in i'm starting to line everything up and then i'm i'm gonna make a video on this on how to get it centered and everything i also put the front end together almost completely we just got to put the hood on and then we still got a little more things to do to the s10 so we got the uh transmission assembled you guys on uh we're all hanging out right now it's easter sunday hope everybody has a great easter 
uh, hanging out with your family and everything. Got the squad here at the house. Anyways, we got the uh, transmission assembled in the K series, and uh, we ran into a problem. The uh, gusset on shift fork, uh, shift fork uh, one to two. The top gusset didn't. Um, the top gusset didn't work. There's a. Uh, there's a plastic in the in the transmission which feeds oil to all the gears and that was getting in the way so we had to cut it my buddy actually was the one that started he was the one that put the transmission together so he cut it fit it up cut it fit it up and at the end when he was done the gusset was just about gone so um, that gusset it probably if I do another one I probably won't even put it in it's just about um, pointless it's a good thing he got that transmission put together before uh, before I up uploaded this video but yeah guys uh, thanks to everybody for watching uh, we'll see you guys next time and uh, let's see what this uh, these shifts forks can do for us see um, see how, how they feel we'll talk about that in the next video